I mean, said that's cute. <laughs> Pretty sure you're supposed to get a legendary uh, once in every 19 packs. What do you get? Oh, that skin is sick. It's a sick skin. We find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Today it's week three and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Aviators of Buenos Aires taking on the Denver Broncos. <laughs> it's the first weekend of autumn and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And no run back here so they'll bring it out to the 25. Come on, bro. It's fucking already starting. Yes. No. One thing you always look for when you're evaluating a defense, how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get? How about last week's game? The number was six. Phenomenal performance. Second down, here's Cunningham. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And this defense for the Broncos, much improved from week one. They were terrific last week in getting their guys their first win of the season. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense is how opportunistic are they? How many teams Bro. are they going to get Hey, Mark, are we allowed to have a fake punt? Mark. <laughs> what happened? I said, are we allowed to do a fake punt? Because uh, it's fourth and one. Fourth down rules. Like, yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah, you can. Um, you can't do like a lot. No, no, no. But you can. Here's Bryce Barringer now. I'd say probably like once a quarter is fine. And maybe some indecision on getting the punt team out there. And they're going to get a delay. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. And Marvin Mims deep for Denver. Only two Captain punts for him last week high. in the loss as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. They start the drive. Bro, no shot. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive. Also give him the first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to do here on that run. Let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long Really, bro? And he gets this one to midfield before he's... Why is Marcus Jones playing corner right there? On the outside, especially. First down. Now we give up the middle to Williams. All right, on your next back, you're going to get a legendary trust. <laughs> Looks like you were wrong. Things right the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get in the field to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, and he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Jawan Bentley, the one to get in and finish off the play. After the sack, uh. second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. 
But you look at this defense. This unit oh, has got a little bit of against huh? the Nascos. Right now, Charles is number 27 in the NFL. Mm -hmm. When they lack in pass defense, they do make up for in run defense. They're top 10 well, my last against mic. people trying to move the ball on the ground. But this is a passing league. So there's a conundrum for them. Well, my last they get better defending the pass. Flush to his right. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw. So he just hey, tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already? Sacked him once, had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. I just got another one. Now, there you are. The there you are. Sails out of bounds, and they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So well done there. And I finished They get more specialized and better each and every year. Oh, man. Oh, sure do, and now... It's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop. Well, how would I do that? The of the football, they're able to almost stop it where they want to. Like a good African chip. It's refreshing. I don't know what you want me to do. Like, it hits the spot. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. He's going to air one out. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. <laughs> his so then stop stressing out. Over Simple. There. And you and 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 you feel the need to be stressed out by it. There's no need. There's a lot of stuff you do that you, you do that annoys me. And it, and it it annoys me, and I still put up with it. So I don't need to hear nothing from you right now. Well, oh, you gotta go crazy. You know you cry a lot, dude. I just got back to back to back legendaries. What the hell? Three in a row. They go play action here on first down. They're looking for Judy. But he's about one pass. Thank you. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The offense is <laughs> ready for their next drive. Ooh, excuse me. Both these offense is still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. And they'll be stopped at the 28. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard Juju say Camita. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Nah, bro. This motherfucker Jumont Jones is not fucking nice like this. Stop giving him animations like this. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to stand on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he gets this to the third and five. Good for a game of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation. Marky Lock. Third and three. Cunningham looking to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. He'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line of the game. A one yard pickup leads to fourth down. So they bring out the pass. As he'll kick it away for the second time. They'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And it'll be first and ten Broncos from deep in their own territory. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. It's time to attack and take some of that momentum Ooh, back. But geez. make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand well, I'm where getting you it all out before. And make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Second and 11. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. Out of the gun now on third down. And that will be incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't be <coughs> physical as well. How about that. the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Dixon, the All right, bro, I need to stop selling. Jones on the return. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but an of just 33. <coughs> Mark, bro, what are you eating? Or Fredo, I mean. Excellent field position. They take over with a first and ten on the show. You're eating what? Next receivers have spread the defense out and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a lot Malik! Oh my god, bro, I'm tired of this black ass quarterback. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Bro, Malik is so horrible. Bro, that is that is a two-yard pass. That is a two-yard pass that you can't make. Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. On fourth down, Cunningham. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he gets it inside the 35. And just Holy fuck, bro. I've never played with That's the quarterback. This is atrocious. Actually, no, I played with Jalen Hurts. He certainly missed on the defensive side. From the 32 now, here's first and two. Oh, this game is fire. Man, I got the middle school, and I just got one. Oh, this game. He looks like fucking middle school. He's got the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he left just a little bit too much, trying to get it out. Two of them will pack his pages. <laughs> Here's second and ten. Now Cunningham. Oh, oh, you just got one and I just got one. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football. Oh my god, is this an elite neighbor's tutty? Cunningham to throw. Bro, isn't Chad Ryland a punter? Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the. Is the kitty out here? Never mind, Tofu. Never mind, Tofu. Here's Chad Ryland now, <laughs> on for the field goal. It'll be a 49 yard attempt from the left hash. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that'll make it 3 0 here in the first. So they're able to get that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh my god, he caught that. A back to back right there. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. 
There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football as they've got it with a second and ten. They'll drop to throw. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he is caught. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to Bro! That's a freaking sack! And that'll fall incomplete. The Broncos hit one and one through two games thus far. It's not a start that's gonna set the world on fire, but they've been pretty solid nonetheless. And the first thing that crosses my mind is certainly beats the alternative of starting 0-2. I do think that this is a team that's going to take a little time to find its footing. Hard to navigate in the first time in the NFL. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Broncos first down. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Back to throw again. And he will find his way to the end round, complete. And the Broncos are going to is so horrible. Now they'll change things around before the snap. He'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the door. They'll take it. Just I like the way you think you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. 22 yards there, a first down. Field strike, they'll look to throw. And he's got his tight end, it's Mike Kosicki. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Uh -huh. Now it's second and ten. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. Pushes past him. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a 10 yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Hey, After he cleared the line of scrimmage, <laughs> nice little hole developed. Yeah, he had great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision? Finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Aviators are able to move back in front. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, Hello? but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they <laughs> I tell <told> you. <laughs> you came back. And you want to hang out with He'll look to throw again. No? Huh? Oh, it's because the lizard isn't here, dude. Get that out of here. <laughs> oh, Kyler Duggar. What a play. Because she brought the lizard in here. It's coming in. That's caught. Touchdown. Tyquan Thornton. 27 yards. And the Aviators are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. From his end zone, Marvin Mims. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so try to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. You're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Shut up, you wait. Question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick, or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. Huh? I think you want to avoid playing scared. You know, I'm not talking to the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able well, to you said, you said what? Make With an attitude. Himself and continue to run your offense. Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. With an attitude. No gain there on the play. See that's going to leave him you see? with a fourth down. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. But how about this, a fake? And this is caught. <clears throat> Bro, what is that? He'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to break 
make one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. On play action, they'll throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield. Why can't you play like this every week, Christian Gonzalez? Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Wow, bro, that's a fucking horrible throw. Nothing is. Where's my lift in there? Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Pass complete to Judy on the out route, and he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves Let's go. There it is. Let's go. Cristian Gonzalez. That is the craziest thing. Cristian Gonzalez. As far as they did, got over the 50-yard line. Don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do oh, I just got another one. Let's go. Because drives like that, better. the end with a turnover. Come, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Cunningham. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half. Oh my God, what a shit throw, Malik. You just threw a pick six because you threw a shit throw. How many did you have? Oh, please, on side. Wow. Great job by the kick team there to get the football. Okay, EA. Yeah. Don't forget about the man that started it, the lonesome kicker himself. I love that you brought him into it because he doesn't get nearly the attention he deserves. He ain't giving him all the bullshit right now, case, boy. He created a positive play for his team. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Duggar! This one is incomplete. So another incomplete. That's a wide open pick, bro. Fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. He seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. P20. He finds his man sick. incomplete. That's Atkins. Okay. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Ooh. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth <laughs> What the heck? That's, That's crazy. Down. Well, they have that they one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. Again, he'll drop to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Now they 
face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll look to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Mike McGlinchey, the Notre Dame man, guilty on that one. Third and 10 wasn't going to be easy. Now after the holding penalty, they have to deal with a third and 20. Back to throw here. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Jones on the return. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. In motion left, that's Thornton. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Oh, It'll be the Broncos yeah. getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage. That hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Here's second and eight. His throw incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Back to throw. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. You can't go for this bucko. Yeah. Wow, I wish I would have told this because when, when it was against me, that mug got called. I was told I had to punt. 
situations that really <coughs> test the defense those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now. I think in I think in YPO you have to be down two scores. Or unless it's the fourth quarter. But a hundred league it's fourth and three or less on your side. Completes this one to Thornton. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch good enough for a first down. Cunningham looking to throw. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown. From 19 yards away. And they're able to add on to their advantage. Huh? Don't play low, bro. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Need to play someone that's... I'm gonna take uh, Leon, uh, Leon Edwards. Bloodhound, Revenant, uh... You don't even know who Leon Edwards is. Yeah, uh-huh. You gotta search him out. And only yes. able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. That's the GOAT right there. Cash me out some money yesterday. That boy Kobe talked all that shit just to get bitched throughout the whole fight. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw Hey bro, did you see that um that Ryan was giving props to what's his name? Ryan was giving props to Haney and everything, and then Haney came out and told him to fight him in 2024 for the belt. <laughs> Freedom. Do you see that um, Ryan was giving props to um, Haney on Twitter? And then um, Haney came out and he was all like, uh, why don't you fight me for the belt um, in 2024? Who, Ryan? I don't think Haney would really do anything. You got pillow hands. This one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. Oh, I know Haney would outbox him, but I'm talking about like. On first down, it's Cunningham. And short arms, that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began. Because he wants to fight Roley first. Ryan wants to fight Roley first, but Roley doesn't want to. Nah, Roley was like... Roley was all like, I mean... I'm not really in a rush to fight right now. He's like, would you rather be fighting right now, putting your body through all this work and pain, or be getting your dick sucked by two bad girls at a, um... Wow! And of course, my line may get into it. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, Mama on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative and turn it into positives moving forward. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. A big play there. Catch and run, 59 yards. Well, part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a head. Like, bro, like, what are we doing? He'll drop to throw. Right back to Judy, and it's complete. Touchdown, Broncos! Jerry Judy from six yards away. And the Broncos take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Wow. 
I don't know where you have to have the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Bro, oh my god, how many times are you gonna onside? And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen. Steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. And now a throw on first down this with a incomplete. Where the numbers throw the football just not trending in the right direction. Last week he was under 50 percent. He's under 50 percent again here. And we haven't gotten an announcement, but it appears to me that he might be a little dinged up and is just trying to play through. You know, he's one of those tough guys that wants to answer the bell each and every play for his team. That might be throwing off his accuracy. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what, what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no game. Bro, what is that? I caught the ball and he immediately just morphed into me. That's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Yes, sir, bitch boy. And this ball is going to be down now, right at the 10 yard line. Good spot. And that hit his player's Just foot. The flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense score. Damn, touchdown. God. And the last time Damn, the How is that not a block in the back? Thank you. Check. Now he breaks that big run, shows the explosiveness we all knew was there. All right, tell the truth now. You knew it was just a matter of time. We've seen this so many times from him. Hold him down, hold him down, and then breaks out. Shit, it's crazy. They give it five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. Huh? And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. A great play there. With his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Broncos have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up the secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding a touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. And now the offense is going to stay out there as the Broncos will go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. That's a cat? Oh, my God, bro. No receiver in their right mind is holding on to that, especially Jerry Judy. Goodness, Fredo, your ass never stopped eating. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. 
And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. I seriously can't with this game. Oh my God. Up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now Cunningham. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Caden Stearns. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still this working my, this year. This boy Malik is literally about to get benched, bro. Some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. No way. God. This is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27 yard line, he's sacked. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. He'll look to throw. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. Quinn Miners, third round. I can't spot a B because we don't have one Called for the penalty. And this third down looking very tough Brad, after the holding penalty. Points. Third and long. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Oh, my God, TJ, bro. You're a fucking sellout. Time today. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. Boy, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference. Meet it head on and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great start. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Through the middle of the field. And all the way in for the touchdown. Tyquan Thornton. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Aviators have retaken a third quarter lead. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Ryland now following the touchdown. Back out to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. <laughs> and they hit him down right at the 25 yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And the points, they have come fast I and did, furious. I did, I did, I did, I did what I could. Yeah. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play and they can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. The throw over the middle, take it in. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. From the 48-yard line, here's second down. Are you getting ready, ready today or no? On play action, they'll throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. 
Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question. And in trouble, and he's taken down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now, defensively here, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Up the middle. Here's Stevenson. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 62 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Back to Stevenson on first down. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Cunningham to throw. Here we had a team going exactly where we're going. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down <coughs> by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. You can only see my hair. Huh? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And hit as he throws there, incomplete. <laughs> one is right through and that'll make this a seven point game and from a defensive perspective though i think maybe they're saying hey we did what we needed to do kept this a one score game yeah without a doubt because they were able to bleed some time off the clock right put themselves in a good position but it's not out of reach yet okay being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game and this will not be returned it'll come out to the 25 God damn it, they're both cracked. <sighs> Denver offense at the line, ready to go. He's finishing. And it. last time, went for it on fourth. Did get it. Now. See if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Under pressure, and down he goes. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. But well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure and coming at the Throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And I'm not seeing that. Wondering if you're going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one oh, possession oh, deficit oh. late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Here's Jones. It'll be a 44 yard punt, six on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone left to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's in good job. And we a one-score game in the second half. Now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. 
They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. The pickup of 11, and it moves the chains. Off play action, it's Cunningham. He'll go underneath here to Stevenson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the third one. <coughs> And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Cunningham. He's got his you decide to put a linebacker on my boy, my league neighbor. It's a 10 yard pick up and it moves the chains. This is probably a touchdown. Uh, Juju Smith Schuster. Here's Cunningham. Rush coming and he's taken down. It'll be a loss of 10. Find the 30 for your peer. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right okay. there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. <coughs> and eventually dropped for a huge loss. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 89 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Every yard they gain, getting them better and better field position. And obviously, a field goal makes this a two-score contest. That's really all they need. And that means for your play caller, he's not looking to the attack portion of the sheet, right? He's looking for, okay, what do we have? It's going to keep us in a good spot. No lost yards, plays. Let's keep the field goal going. Two scores. If they score a touchdown, great. But that's not what you're really playing for. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Dang. Here's first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Now a throw here, hold in. It'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. They'll set up to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Atkins. Now second and four. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Back to throw again. And he is caught. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 
Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Rolling to his right. He finds his man complete. That's Atkins. Here's a second and seven. They'll look to throw again. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right Might here. Might be outside. Oh, no. Right it's good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. And no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. And give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an outside uh -huh. kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, That's they it. do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. It's already 230. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the That's coaches okay. tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Like a pretty good safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game. There, it's his guy on the play. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now they get to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. And his kick is good. Cool. yards out and that will extend their lead even further so barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages that field goal should just about put this one on ice yeah they've got to find two scores so you know we're not going to exactly move it over there yet it can be done but boy it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them isn't it yeah they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck too This is first and ten. They'll try and start this drive. It's gonna be a little bit. Probably not that wide is incomplete. Let's go. This defense has had to share struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Find the open man. That's complete. And he's out of bounds. Able to take this one up to the 35. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. And we will get a timeout Indeed. with two ticks left. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been Absolutely. a go-to guy all game long. Why do you even and they get up again on third down to keep this drive alive. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Really? And this is dropped it incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is going. This time is run out of this ball game. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. I ain't tripping, this is easy, easy. Got them excited to meet me.
Meet me. I got diamonds, you got CZs. CZs. Wake up, get to it, and repeat. Repeat. What the? The whole team, dude. Tripping this is easy, easy. Got him excited to meet me. 